Hello, good afternoon, everyone out there. God bless you. It's me again, Brother Alvin, the evangelist from Canada. And this afternoon, I just want to talk about the future direction of online ministry. Uh, you all know that I pastored for 30 years, but because of difficult circumstances, COVID and uh, uh, some conflicts God has transitioned me to become more of an online evangelist online minister so my channel has uh, after a year now al almost a year I have about 94 subscribers and uh, maybe you know on YouTube alone uh, maybe 18,000 views to 20,000 of course you, if if you add Facebook live uh, it's gonna be more than that uh, for the whole year of 2022 so what can I say um, well sometimes it's hard to understand the transition um, I have gotten used to 30 years of being exposed to people. Well, we still have online uh, service, in-person service in New West with probably 10 people, a dozen people. But I'm not discouraged by that because um, I, I know that, you know, there's a greater harvest out there and only God knows. Uh, here's what my take, here's what I believe. Um, you know, we're living the days of, of, you know, technological advancement where every person has a cell phone. And uh, I know in the world out there, there's a lot of people who are seeking and hungry for the truth. And there's a lot of people, young people, especially, uh, you know, young millennials, uh, uh, generate young generations who... You know, they're not excited about church traditions, but they use their cell phones a lot to seek for the truth. And a lot of young people now are, are just listening online to sermons, preachers, apologists, uh, pastors, evangelists. And how many thousands, millions of people out there in the world who are in this category? So here's what I believe. God knows that the harvest, the potential out there uh, is great because of technological advancement, because of online ministry, uh, Messenger, uh, YouTube, Facebook. God knows that there's a, a high potential to reach, to seek, to save the lost out there. And uh, I know God's going to use this. So I am accepting this challenge. I am accepting this transition with all my heart. Because God knows this is His plan, you know. This is what is best for me right now, you know. I've been walking half an hour in this trail already. And I just realized I, I've had 30 years experience as a pastor. And I, had so, I have so much to share to the world, you know, to, you know, in terms of experience. You know, how many uh, church workers, leaders are listening to me ex-pastors, present, current pastors, they can learn something from me. And also I'm into apologetics, so, you know, I can give them uh, tips on not only church leadership, but theology, you know. Uh, I've been into apologetics. I've studied soteriology in the last five years intensely. Um, you know, I've studied uh, Reformed theology and Armenian theology and you know, a, a few doc theologies on the sovereignty of God. You know, it's, uh, you know, somehow I believe God has a purpose for that. So now when I speak, when I make short videos for 10 minutes, it just com comes handy. Uh, whatever has been stored into my brain and into my heart just comes out naturally. So I really believe God has prepared me for this. God has used covid conflict to close one door and open a new door 
So this is what I'll be doing most likely for the next 10 years of my life, 15 years, as long as I can walk, as long as I can travel, as long as I can vlog, as, as long as I'm healthy and able to do it outdoors. I will continue to make videos, you know, as much as I can for the next 10 years. Uh, after 12 months, I have about 94, almost 100 subscribers but you know it's not easy to to have a lot of subscribers especially when when i'm teaching theology or preaching the gospel because you know the gospel and theology are not popular in the world you know the, there are other channels about you know how to play an instrument or about uh hiking or about uh you know uh rving or you know fishing or photography and it will easily draw thousands hundreds and thousands of subscribers because people are into this you know but when it comes to the gospel and theology about things about god is it is not very popular in the world but hey a hundred subscribers after 12 months is big time for me you know um i know that i lost some people in person but i know that online i know i have a lot of followers and subscribers uh, in my facebook profile alone i know friends from from my childhood from my high school days from my college years uh, when i was you know uh, when i worked in the philippines for two years after graduation you know friends in the past people a few of them who are, I see their names, watching me sometimes uh, live on Sundays. Uh, so I know I have gained, the Lord has opened the door for me to preach the gospel to them. So I'm excited about this. I'm fully uh, accepting the challenge and surrendering to the will of God if this is what He wants me to do. For the next 10 years, 15 years of my life, I will do it with all my heart. I still love to meet in person, gather my partners, take care of them, pastor them. You know, I still love to be with my partners. And my theology, philosophy has changed over the years. Numbers don't mean anything because in 30 years, I've seen the church go up and down. You know, Jesus only had 12 disciples. And if in the next 10 years I only have 20, 25 partners, well, praise God, I don't need 100 people to tell you honestly. You know, disciples are more important than the crowds. You know, partners, supportive partners who are all out with me in this mission. Um, you know, a couple of dozen, you know, um, is more uh, effective, more uh, efficient. Um, it, it is easier to handle and at the same time you know I have the tools to spread the gospel to the world via technology so I would say you know for a year maybe of doing vlogging I was more effective in reaching the world than in than in the past 30 years you know so yeah I, I've had about 25,000 views maybe um, maybe up to 30,000, you know, for, for a full year, you know, combining all the, uh, the platforms, right? YouTube, um, Facebook. Yeah, so, well, I would say glory to God. Uh, lastly, this ministry may be a little bit, uh, you know, I'm still adjusting to it. It can be, you know, it can be uh, lonely sometimes when you're working alone. Uh, uh, because now, see, I spend more time alone on the trails, making videos. Um, I, you know, I only see my partners once a week. Uh, so, but hey, I'm used to this kind of life because per, in person, you know, my personality, my gifting, uh, I, I think I'm an introverted person. So I don't mind working alone. I probably am more effective working alone, you know. Because, you know, God has gifted me with evangelism, apologetics, uh, teaching, uh, and I need to spend time alone, you know, studying theology, right? I'm more of a teacher, uh, apologist, uh, but I can also work with people. But again, um, 
things have changed now, you know, from working with communities and the public now, I only work with my partners. So, but anyway, I'm just pouring what's in my heart right now. I am accepting the changes that God, you know, brought to my life, to my ministry lately, and I'm excited to see the next 10 years. Maybe it will grow to 500 subscribers, a thousand subscribers. It doesn't really matter. The important thing is they hear my videos. Amen. And uh, I expect to travel more in the future, Lord willing. That's what evangelists do. They travel a lot and see what the Lord will do. So I'm taking this challenge. And if you are listening to me right now, you want to be one of my partners, please do support me to uh, continue my ministry. Uh, because the Mission Society, the Freedom Fire Mission Society, needs your financial support, you know. We are still supporting three churches in the Philippines. We still have a, a, a few expenses, you know, that um, that we need to take care of. So any f amount of financial support coming from you will be greatly appreciated. I'm only 62 years old. You know, I'm still, I still have one dependent who is, uh, you know, going to college, you know, next year for two years. And... Uh, I'm still out here in the most expensive city in Vancouver paying my mortgage. So if there's any way you can help us with this ministry, it is really um, appreciated with all my heart. May the Lord bless you. Um, you know, it just it's very easy to be a partner. Just subscribe to my channel um, or uh, follow me on Facebook. And if you want to support financially... Uh, uh, send me a text message because I, c I will send you our uh, email uh, address for e-transfers. Anyway, may the Lord bless you. Thank you for watching and listening. God bless you. Until the next one.